Hello guys, who here, back with another video. This time around, we are guiding you through the St. Cubesley, uh, also known as the St. Patrick's Day event. So for the next 14 days, as you can see right here, from today to the 20th of March, we are going to have the St. Cubesley Day event. And I'll explain a little bit why it's sort of important, but the gist is that it is, I'm gonna do that on Trevisaurus, and also that's linked in the description to Trevisaurus, but it's because of the, I probably also put it in the title and such, but it is where you are going to get the best ally in the game for Magic Find, the Luck Beast, and it's not something that's tradable, so you do have to play the event to get it. It's not super complicated to get, but you are gonna get it, and there's a bunch of other stuff that is there as well. I do not mention in the clip that you are going to say that you are going to these the one the new ones uh, also the old ones uh, can uh, there's basically the the flux ones that looks like basically golden versions of this uh, those that drop from both the ally and the uh, the mount that drops on that is not tradable but the other one that is like kind of green or such. Uh, do drop from it and can be traded as you can see as you can pick it up on the marketplace as well And then go a little bit further you can see here is the mount as well And then of course over time it will during the event it will go down in price just let you know to do that But I will kind of explain so you can skip ahead if you want to just go into step number one but I kind of explain how you are going to obtain the uh, things that are out there that is both uh, you know obtainable and also uh, tradable as well so just wanted to mention that but also if you don't you know have locked into trove for a while if you do lock in today uh, they are going to give you five pinatas uh, shame rock pinatas for free just a gift from the trove team so if you you know, don't have that you can get yourself that to get uh, five of these and why is this important well these five are actually tradable so if you wait a while they will also go up in price right now everybody you know probably is going to put it on marketplace so they will fall, fall down a little bit in price but if you wait a little bit uh, maybe a couple of months or something like that just laying around or you can use them yourself uh, if you have a big pinata party uh, but you can wait a few just look at the prices basically and suddenly they will go up in price again because right now this is also what you can buy in the shop uh, I'm pretty sure you can buy these if you go into uh, pinatas I think uh, something with style I think I would uh, assume but you can buy them at least in here as uh, somewhere the pinatas uh, usually they are in season uh, but that doesn't really matter the point is that you should just log in get yourself these and then stash them away if you want to or use them or whatever but they will go up in price over time and then they will fall in price again when we get closer to this event or you know uh, when people know oh yeah well there's gonna be soon that and then you know that's gonna be just dif dif supply and demand basically all that so I don't want to make this intro too far I, the other segment is quite long but uh, you can skip ahead you know I made timestamps you can go ahead to step number one if you want to just go Go through all of the 10 steps there is for this event but here is me kind of explaining the other stuff all right guys we are now on trovisaurus uh, this is of course linked in description if you want to go check it out in the future but this just gives a little bit of a better overview of what i'm going to talk about uh, right now because it's kind of important so let's just jump into it so first of all we got the banner this is something you craft through the uh, quest line anyway so if you've already done the quest line well you already have the banner but uh, it boosts your magic find, but also uh, it shows these beasts, uh, both the new ones and the old ones. So you gotta have this equipped to see them. So if you don't have it, if you can't see them, for example, you see the me having in the video and you don't understand why you don't have it, it's because you don't have the banner on. So that's basically allows you to see all of these and also gets you the chance of getting that uh, best uh, magic find ally there is in the game so first of all this is the new stuff so basically it's just like the old stuff i can go down here you can see there's like four of them for the luck beast and the flux beast and there's the same thing for these two so there's basically just four two new beasts that works exactly the same as the old one so if you know what the old ones are if you've done it before i think this is the third time around we have this event uh, but they did add some new stuff to this one and of course they included the old stuff so you guys could get that as well if you didn't get it uh, past events and and whatnot um, but there's a new ones uh, to get for people that haven't and there's a couple of uh, trophies as well if you want those if you like these kind of look like ducks but i know it's not as like the flying uh pelicans sort of thingies if you call it like that and of course there is two of them each and i don't really know the stats of them uh i'll show you I, I maybe this says it right here yeah, it says it right here the stats of them uh, there's a mount one of them this is the 
ally. There's some one that gives light and magic find. 50 light is not enough to beat the other one. Uh, there's 100 light and 25 light and then critical damage. Uh, makes you no spawn. Egg. Oh, okay. okay. Exactly gives you a coin, uh, but I think that's just mostly for damage. It's not like a coin you are going to get. So these are not uh, basically, uh, they're probably pretty cool mounts, uh, I would say, but uh, they're not going to compete with the other ones as well. I think I can see it down here. It should show 150. Yeah, there we go. Uh, that one, 150. Uh, that's the one that has the most magic find in the game. So this is the one you want to get if you don't already have it. Of course, if you have it, you can't see it again. And this is uh, basically the old one deal that was basically a couple of years ago. This is the one day. Uh, this is was the first year. So this was the Luck Beast and Flux Beast was the first year. And then they added this last year and this is the new one this year. So yeah, just making that clear. And none of them, as you can see, does, don't compete with the other one as well. They're very close to each other. It looks kind of like the same, but they're pretty cool as well. There's the mountain stuff like that, but they're back and you can get those as well. But what we are really also looking for, something that's in also important, not only uh, getting these, That's not, if it, this was the only thing that was gonna add it, uh, then I wouldn't like talk about this very much, but I'm just gonna talk about the pot of gold uh, that you can craft. This is the one down here. If you click it right here, this is the one right here. It gives you 250 magic find, uh, and it's, of course it stacks with all the patron and all that stuff, so it's on top of all of that. So you can craft this one. We do have one in our club world, in club Wahoo, we do have one there, you can use it. I'm not sure if you have to be a member or not. Usually you don't have to, to use benches to be part of the club, uh, but you can put this also in your, uh, you know, your cornerstone or your own club world if you want to do so. Uh, it only a week, one week, uh, what is it called? A weekly reset thing, if that says anything. I don't know if you can say it like that, but you can use it once a week and it lasts for three hours and then you got 250 magic fine for two and a, three hours, basically. It does cost you some uh, stuff right here. You can see right here, it costs you a thousand, uh, thousand glim and 10,000 flux. So if you don't make that back in those three hours, it's kind of wasted. But uh, if you stack it up, of course, with a Sunday or something like that, but your patron, if you have that as well, you are probably going to make that 10,000 flux back. Again, it's a buff of three hours. So it's up to you if you think it's worth it for 250 ma magic find. It's definitely worth it if you have patron on because then it, of course, doubles it. And that's, of course, uh, another. Uh, 500 magic find which is really nice for three hours and again it's only once a week you can and do that so you can also craft some other stuff from this pot of gold which is in the um basically you can find it in the uh, three star dungeons and you need the event food or banner to see it it's something part of the uh, the quest line as well so you'll see that doing that as well so don't worry about it uh but yeah you can also uh, get that from here so these are the old lucky treasures as well these are something i'll go through all of that in the quest steps but you just need the banner and just go to a desert frontier as you can see here these are desert these are jungle biome these are Nian City and uh, the Luminous uh, Luminous uh, biome. These, of course, just you know, Neon City biome. Just find Neon City biome. That you know, all that stuff, and then jungle. And this is the desert frontier. So I like that they're you know, over the years we'll have every single biome, which is going to be uh, pretty nice as well. And as you can see, event food or just the banner. So just have the banner on. Food is cool, but uh, the banner just stays forever, <laughs> basically. And yeah, so that's that's the thing. So without that out of the way, we can now move into step number one. All right, guys, so for step number one, we are going to meet Tubesley in the hut. But before that, we do have a little bit of an extra quest. Also forgot to say this in the intro. Of course, the daily quests are back. So for, you know, get that... Uh, dungeon in on sand Saturdays and all that stuff as we are used to as well. If you've seen my previous guys do that as well. I also talking about the previous one, how you're going to do the Thursday one is basically go into the hub, do a Bumber Real quest, which is over there in the background. Just go down, get that one or do a quest in a club to get that one done. But let's go into step number one. That's basically what we're going to do. I'm pretty sure I'm going to make another uh, video just talking about the Yappa key as well. I'm going to do it with you guys as well. I'll uh, upload that video tomorrow. So just keep an eye out for that one. I don't think it's super necessary to get it right away. Um, so it's just more important to get this one as well. But for step number one, all we have to do is interact with uh, Cubely. You can also get more Shamrock, but this is seven. Uh, seven Shamrock. These are basically um, these you get from the whole event. So you can't, you can only get five, seven or seven times five 
uh, for the whole event. So it's not resetting here, as you can see. It is just going to be seven. So, But I'm not sure if these are tradable or not. I'm pretty sure they are. If they are, make sure you farm some of these. I think I did this last year as well. Same with the Lucky Clovers. Uh, these are also seven only uh, for, you know, per uh quest as well and the same with this one as well because you need to get this the seven spice you can get that a bunch of stuff so you can get a bunch of these this is like basically the currency for the event so don't worry about that you can also buy the wash tarts very pricey very pricey probably more tradable on the marketplace but we are gonna get as you can see the next step is to collect these seven spices but that's coming up in step number two all right, so for step number two, we do have to get ourselves the seven spice. Uh, so I already have six of them, and you might be wondering, how did you get six? Well, who you're just standing here? We were just right here before. Well, as you saw before, you can go ahead and buy these, and it actually works towards this one as well. So if you want to pay five thousand flux for six of these, which I'm going to do, but mostly just for the video, I'll show you guys a little bit where you are going to get them. But just if you want to get these, you can see then they disappeared, and I'm on eighteen, so it's going to be a little bit faster, just for the sake of the video, also so I can get it out a little bit faster for you guys. I will go ahead and show you guys. Where you can get the rest of these because you can see i'm only on 18 i need the 25 so i'll see you guys where you can farm these all right guys you have to go to a adventure world that's just regular worlds basically the other ones that are in this inner circle right here all the way to u11 and all you do is find yourself the one the biome or the zone Oh, the zone and that has the steering wheel on it as you can see right here there's the steering wheel just get go ahead and get that one there and all you do is just go and do the dungeons so i'm gonna do the dungeon real quick and we should be able to get one it's a random uh, chance oh i actually got some there i got three of them to there so i don't know what the uh, i wouldn't call it the maximum is but i, I know that it, it basically you can get more than <laughs> than three and it's not uh, i don't sure if you can get it from uh mini bosses let's try if we can get it from a mini boss no we didn't get it from a mini, a mini boss uh, there is i wouldn't say you can't get them from the mini boss uh, but uh i would just go for the dungeon so usually there's not too many of them so i'll get the last four and i'll see you guys in step number three all right guys for step number three we have to wash uh, 10 of the tata tates so how are you going to get the tata tates that is through a garden if you want to do so uh, but you can also get them on the marketplace uh, so i just have to type this i actually just uh, typed in if you could buy a vegetable sink on the marketplace and you can do so but i would recommend you getting up your gardening if you not already have so we need 30 of these so we're not going to get a thousand of these that's a little bit of a price i don't have any on me at the moment that's a lot of people that put up a thousand uh i just want that so a hundred uh so we're just gonna buy a hundred that's much more price than the one the million there so it's fine it's fine i don't want to pay a million for these uh even that's actually pretty I'm actually gonna take a million of these because that's actually quite uh, nice then i have for a future one you don't need that many so that was just so much price but what you do is you get your gardening skill up to being a gardener and then you can make yourself the vegetable sink or you if you already have it in your club world or in your uh, cornerstone you can just go ahead and wash them and all you do is go to the vegetable sink and then of course you wash 10 of these and you get one per these so you need a little bit of glim and some flux of course so we're going to go ahead and get ourselves 10 so we're going to go ahead and crafting as you can see it is going up the counter here and we just need to get 10 of these washed so you cannot buy the washed ones on the marketplace you do have to get only get uh, these here as well so yeah that's how you complete step number three all you have to do is just get the washed ones 10 of them uh, if you can also do it, go with fruit gardening and just you know, put down the seeds and all that stuff and do that if you want to do so uh, i don't recommend buy it for a million on the on the marketplace for for sure but all right sorry guys i just had to interrupt myself right here i actually also saw there is a vegetable sink on the uh, in the hub so you can just go ahead and use that one if you not already have them and you don't need to do anything with gardening or whatever you can just buy them on there and just wash them here if you want to do so just wanted to mention that before that so so let's get back to me again that was step number three now we can head into step number four all right guys so for step number four we have to go and craft ourselves the same cubes lick 
also delight as it is right here you go back to uh, the quest area uh, in the hub as well and right next to left actually uh, you can see there is the oven where you are going to make yourself the delight so we need the 25 seven spices that we got from previous steps and then the washed taters tarts tates that we got and that's all you have to do is just create yourself the delight and that's going to complete step number four and yeah that's it that's just it just get the food and you are good to go so uh let's uh have, that's actually step four so yeah let's head into step number five all right guys so for step number five we have to obtain one of these luck beast uh, hams i'm just going to call them hands uh or the food at least and all you do is you have to equip yourself the delight uh, i don't have a food one in here but if you have one make sure you take all the other ones out you're still going to have one in your slot but doesn't really matter uh, but when you equip this one that is going to basically consume this so you have this one for 15 minutes as well so you got to do it pretty quickly or you got to do the whole process one more time so right now you can see if i look out here you can see there is no beast out here uh you know you could say hey well you it, it basically they're just invisible as well but uh when you see that i'm gonna equip this one uh you should be able to see the beast right now in a little moment hopefully it will work i'm going for the new one as you can see uh, nobody's been here either so it should be there's not anybody has to take them all and there is the new ones as well you can say it disappeared uh, or appeared that's what i mean i'm not going to put down these and i'm going for the new ones as well because uh, i want the new stuff that they are bringing so i'm going to get some of that so got to go out farming these so might as well for the quest get these ones as well and you just get it by equipping the food and then you just keep going until you get the the ham or the leg turkey leg you can call it as well uh you don't have to do anything else it, it doesn't drop all the time as you can see it's also kind of currency for this so you have to get a bunch of these if you want to get all the you know the i was about to say the trophies uh but no not the uh but uh, yeah so you can see there's also the uh, the golden ones and these are the golden ones are the ones that doesn't drop the tradable ones so that's the one you really really want to go so you just got to go through it uh, I'm going to get the other ones. doesn't really matter which ones I'm getting. I just want to get the uh, the food. And that's basically all you have to do. Ooh, there is a golden one. There's actually two next to each other. So let's get that one. Uh, dropping that one as well. And still no of the ham. So yeah, I'll, I'll go around killing these. And uh, at some point I am going to get the ham and uh, getting it so yeah you can also go to as you can see this uh, jungle biome you can also go to the neon city biome and all that stuff it doesn't matter which ones you you get it from oh there i got it ah i got it in the clip very nice so you can see i got it uh right here uh it, i think it's in my inventory here yeah, you can see it right here uh for this one and then it disappears when it's over so you can have plenty of time to have 14 days to farm all of them so uh yeah and uh just a reminder if you were thinking about um you gotta, you gotta do the food every single time oh i got another one uh <laughs> cool um no you don't need to food uh, that's what the banner comes in but we probably have to do that one uh, right now yeah it's, i think that's what the next step is but we are going to go to step number six all right for step number six we have to craft the feast and i thought it was the banner now but it's not the banner now it is the feast so i'll show you guys it's right over at the oven so we had the delight right here and now basically what we need is kind of not twice as much but kind of <laughs> we now need uh, 30 of the watched and uh, washed ones uh if you want to get these or you can also get them uh, you need to get the seven spices as we got previous and one of these uh lunches of food i did forget you can actually buy the washed ones for uh, ten thousand flux if you want to do so but again i wouldn't recommend that you just got the prices still even if you just bought the other ones if you saw the other steps it was like two thousand or something like that for these and you need another 30 of these so we are going to go ahead and get ourselves 30 so it's a good thing i bought some more of it <laughs> but yeah we are going to get ourselves 30 of the washed taters uh, we're just gonna let that craft and as you can see here that's what we're gonna get but the seven spices again you gotta go to those biomes the the treasure biome and get yourself some more of these seven spices i did get one from a uh, i actually said in the step that i wasn't sure he got it from the mini bosses but you actually get them from the mini bosses so yeah you just kill everything there is there if you come buy one but i only got one so 
I wouldn't go out of my way to kill the mini bosses that are just around. So I'm going to get myself the 57 spices and I'll see you guys when I've got it all and we are going to craft this thing. All right, guys, I am now back. It didn't take that long at all, but uh, yeah, we do have it now. So I'm going to go over here, get to the oven and craft ourselves the a feast of the cubes lick as you can see that's going to complete it and there is the food this also lasts for two hours uh in, instead of the 15 minutes that the other one uh, do so now we're gonna go and find ourselves the uh, coins which is gonna be in step number seven so yeah that was step number six let in to step number seven all right, guys, so step number seven, we have to get ourselves five coins. Well, four more because you get one from completing the previous step. So how you are going to find these? Well, you're going to find these treasure chests. Remember to equip your feast because you can't see these without that. So basically what you go up and you just, just shoot at them. Sometimes they're also in dungeons. As you see, I got a coin right there. So sometimes you can also be in a dungeon, but do have to be in the steering wheel or the treasure islands biome to get this one as well. And they can be on the uh, ground but it could also be in the dungeon so i would suggest you go through the dungeons as well uh, maybe just for the quest step we're just going to get him from right here so i'm just going to go up shoot at him and that's going to give me another coin and you can find them all over the place unless you do not have it equipped the food uh, when you get the banner you can also get this one as there but you do have to have some coins to get that one as well uh, but uh, yeah, I'll get the last. Hopefully, I was hoping that was gonna be a little bit more. Oh, there's one over there. I think it'd be cool if I could get it in the clip. That would be nice. But yeah, you just go around finding these and destroy them. Uh, you don't have to, you know, do dungeons or anything like that. You don't have to. Just as long as you have that equipped, you're gonna see it on the uh, ground here, and you can get it in any of the difficulties. Doesn't have to be U10 as I'm in right now. And I was really hoping it would be super cool if there was this one that's going to show up for the clip. But yeah, that's not going to be one right here. Maybe that's going to be while I'm running. But anyways, you guys know what the deal is. So oh, there was a one. Hey, let's go. Let's get that one done. And uh, that's going to complete step number seven. And now we can head into step number. Oh, sorry, eight. All right, for step eight. And of course, not step five. I don't know why I said five before. But in step eight here, we are going to find the pot of gold. And you need to find this one also in the treasure biome or treasure island biomes. In the big dungeon, there's all of them that have them. But the one with the light tower here it does have it. The other one that looks like a big, um, I wouldn't call it a construction site, but it's like a big one just do the big dungeons and you if you have the food and that's very important if you have the food equipped or the banner equipped you can see this all the time uh, of course when this runs out in about an six minutes uh, one hour and 54 minutes this will of course you not can see them uh, you can also see it if you have the smaller food as well basically if you have the food equipped either the small one or the big one you can see it or the banner you can do so as well so uh hopefully these guys won't hit me too much with this but all you have to do for the step is just find it it looks like this you can see it's pot of gold uh though the other one does not work that it's already if you had it from the previous one you don't that i don't think that one works you do have to find the pot of gold because i'm pretty sure they have different names but this is also where you are going to craft a bunch of stuff so when i interact with it right here it's going to complete itself you can actually uh, daily actually get these things there is some super ones there's also some loops and stuff there's some pretty nice stuff that is in here actually also the private ones is pretty awesome it's going to cost you the coins and some of the spices but this is a daily one uh, you can only get this one each day so this one is actually pretty cool to get so then you got the treasure uh, there is some uh, old recipes so if you have them from last year, you do not get some new ones. So if you already have them, don't waste your uh, decorations on this one if you don't have it. Of course, the standard is pretty awesome to have because when you craft this one, you do need a uh, hundred of these, which is not going to take you super, super long. But then when you have the, the banner, you can have this one and it's going to, uh, you know, uh, do the same thing as the food does. So, uh, yeah, this is what you are going to, to get. But uh, there's also these two, which we are going to talk about a little bit because we are now going to find this uh, little lucky. Uh, we are going to find, oh, lucky, sir, oh, lucky uh, at a shrine. I'll tell you that about in step nine. But then you need these, which is from there. So you, he sells them. And I'll tell you guys that about a little bit uh, from now. But uh, yeah, this is 
where you also craft this one and this one is the one that gives you the magic find and such uh, they can put in your cornerstone or whatever uh, place you want to do so so yeah the, your standard you can just uh, go ahead and get that one i would really recommend you getting 100 of these and just find it and having this banner for the rest of the time then you don't need the food in your slot anymore and you can just have this one and it's going to be exactly the same you can find the, the beasts and everything with it as well so this is the one that yeah, you basically want to need. You can see reveals present enemies hidden by magic of cutely, and you can get uh, coins as well with that and everything. It basically works for for everything like that. So uh, I'm definitely gonna get myself that one. Uh, but let's focus on the quest, and we are on to this was step eight. Let's get into step number nine. All right, we are now in step number nine, and actually where I just started, because before we can find Sir Oh Lucky, we have to craft something from the pot of gold. It can be in one of the daily things. It doesn't have to be one of these down here. So when you do that, I'm gonna craft this one because I want this one. I think this is the best one. You can see right up here, you get yourself a buff. So I'm just gonna really quickly go because they keep shooting at me. But you can see here, if this one, this buff lasts for an hour, and now we have to find them. So when I find Find him. I'll uh, show you guys how or how you are going to tell you how you're gonna do it. But you cannot see him. Uh, not a matter if you have the banner, if you have like whatever. You have to have crafted something from the pot of gold uh, or, or pot of gold. Yeah, uh, it could be a daily thing. It can be any of the daily things. If you already crafted everything there is, you do have the buff and it lasts for one hour. And you should go again and find the Sir Olaki. So I'm gonna go that and I'll see you guys when I find him. All right, so I found Sir O Lucky, and how you find him is actually not very much as this one, but it, it kind of is kind of like this. <laughs> it's kind of weird because it's outside of the peaceful area. You do have to go to a peaceful area. There is much more of that in the starting zone. So I would, uh, or starting zone, one of the first zones to go and get yourself this one. And of course, it's the one with the big flower on it. And there is these ones here. And usually these are the ones where you have, you gather three people and you complete that one. Uh, but you have to find these ones in here. And this is a little bit outside of what it usually looks like. But as you can see, this is what it looks like I can't zoom anymore but this is what it looks like on the map and you're gonna find them if you have the buff again oh uh buff if you have the buff you can find them if you don't have if you don't see them if you find one of these uh what they look like is this look like one of these right uh if you can't find them in there uh yeah that's that's because you don't have the buff and you have to go and craft yourself one but it doesn't take very long to get them but all you have to do for step number nine is to interact with them as well and it's going to cost you uh to get these fragments you can buy them for 50 so you basically need four of these so that is 200 of the coins and you can buy these all from this guy uh or from one guy and then you have to find another guy and get the fragments from him again i think this is a one-time buy from this guy and you have to find him again and get this one as well and there's also as you can see some different things you can get from that as well these are on all of them basically so you just have to yeah when it says owned yeah this uh, this is basically just to sync if you have all the coins you can just sync it into these one i can just go ahead and buy one of these to show you guys and as you can see here it gives you uh, some magic find i don't know how much it would oh yeah oh that's right uh, you have to throw it uh, oh, let me throw it. <laughs> let me throw it. Uh, so you have to throw it, as you can see here, and it, uh, you know, it gets yourself some magic find. I'm pretty sure uh, that's what it should be. Uh, throwing, increasing the, uh, the magic find of people who, yeah, throw it. Yeah, and seven people. I don't know how much he gave. It's like five minutes, but apparently I didn't get a buff from it. I thought you'd get a buff from it, but yay. I don't know. <laughs> you can throw it around. It's only costing you these coins here, so and this is one of them, so you can just go ahead and get a bunch of these and there's another coin i actually got from that so yeah so that's it for uh, step number nine just find this guy and you are good to go and we can now complete uh that's yeah that completes step number nine we can get into step number 10 all right guys so for step number 10 all you have to do is collect one of the luck beast treasures you cannot get it from the marketplace just keep that in mind you do have to go out there and find it it can be uh, one of the ones that are tradable doesn't matter which ones it is uh but you do have to collect one of them. You can try on the marketplace to get one. I'm pretty sure it's not going to work. I will test it for the video because these are not too expensive. So I'm just going to collect that one. Hey, it actually just worked. Okay, so you can get it from the uh, marketplace to complete that. Okay, I, I have no, I didn't have no idea to do that. I actually thought you had to get out and get those. Uh, but there is one down here. I found one so I could 
do it for the video. Uh, it could be cool if I got the one that I, that I actually needed. Uh, but the other ones are not tradable. So yeah, it does work for that. Okay, so you can get some of these from here. So there's some that are even cheaper than this ones because the previous years people already have those. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and learn that one. And uh, that's also gonna take away from that. So now I just need the uh, the, the beast basically. So, but I need the, the one from the, the golden ones as well. So I'm gonna defeat all of them and then I'm also probably hopefully gonna get the mount uh, so uh, rather just find the mount and then you know use it myself but that's it that's it for the video I hope you guys enjoyed it I know it became a little bit of a longer one uh, because also the rant that I had in the beginning and such but it's it's kind of a, also a little bit of a complicated it there is you know you have to have stuff to do stuff and and just a lot of stuff but i'm gonna go ahead and get myself the banner for this year so i have that so i don't have to worry about that anymore but again i hope you guys enjoyed it uh take care have a good one thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye